In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Salesforce with WhatsApp. So let's say you're using Salesforce as your CRM and you want that every time there is a new lead created on your CRM, this lead should be sent a message through WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Salesforce and your action application would be WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this yourself and automate this entire process? To understand this, let me take you to my screen. So to begin with the process, let us first write the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to sign up for free. It will not take more than two minutes and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm going to simply click on sign in. And now it has taken me to the all application page. Now here, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on access now. And now we will be directed towards the dashboard of the application. And here on the right hand side, you can again see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And now we have to name our workflow. So here my objective is every time there's a new lead in Salesforce, this information should be like, you know, used for sending a message to the lead on WhatsApp. So I'm going to name this workflow as Salesforce to WhatsApp. So let's click on create. And we have reached this window where we can see two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Here my trigger application would be Salesforce. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. Trigger event is the event that will make your workflow start. So here the trigger event will be new lead. So once done, I'm going to click on connect. Here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Salesforce account. I have already logged into my Salesforce account. So as I click on add new connection, let's click on connect with Salesforce and finally provide it the access by clicking on allow. Now here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Here we have to provide the instance URL. This instance URL is basically a URL like this http colon and ap16.salesforce.com. How can you find this? For this, let me take you to your Salesforce account. And here you can see setup on the right hand side. Let's click on this. Once done, on the left side, you can see company profile. Once clicked, then we are going to go to company information. And here, if I show you, this is the instance. What is the instance here? AP16. So Pabli Connect is saying if your instance is AP16, so this is going to be URL. So if it is AP12 or AP6, you can change the number accordingly. So I'm going to simply copy this and paste this here. So once done, let's click on save and send test request. So as soon as we do that, here we have received the response. But this was the last response which was fed in Salesforce data. I'm going to quickly go back to Salesforce. And here I'm going to go to leads. And then let's click on new. Basically, we are creating a new lead. So the lead owner is Pabli Connect. Do you want to give a salutation? So let's say it is Mr. Name here is test user. This is the first name. Last name is Pabli123. So this is the name of my user. Company is Pabli Connect. Then the title here, if you want to give, you can provide lead source. Let's say I've received this lead through a phone inquiry. So let's click on this. And then if you want to provide a campaign, you can do that. Then the industry. So let's say this is entertainment industry. Then annual revenue is, let's say it is $2,000, $20,000. Then you have the prime user, favorite game. You can provide all these URLs. Then the phone number. So let's say the phone number is. And then we have the mobile number. So again, the same number. 
then we have the email address so let's say the email address is test user pably at pably tutes.com and then we have the website then lead status has the lead been opened or is has the lead been contacted converted or not converted so let's say it is not contacted yet number of employees so let's say it is 50 rating if you want to give so this lead is a hot lead basically you can convert this once done here is the address information it has already been fed here and then you can give other information as well now i'm going to click on save so once done here you can see that the lead has been created so now i'm going to go back to Pabli connect and again click on save and send test request let's check see here is the name test user Pabli 123 last name is this first name is this salutation is mr this is the address if i take you down this is the number email address then lead source phone inquiry status open not contacted industries entertainment rating is hot annual revenue is 20,000 and number of employees is 50. so we have received this entire information also we have received the created date as soon as you have received this lead to salesforce you want that this lead should be sent a message on whatsapp thanking him for signing up let's say that uh, the person has first filled a form or has signed up through some means and then this information came to salesforce and now this person will be shared a message on whatsapp thanking him for joining the team so i am going to choose my next application as whatsapp cloud api now the action event here would be to send a template message let's click on connect and here Pabli connect is asking to connect itself with the whatsapp cloud api account let's click on add new connection and now we have to fill in this information so that Pabli connect can set up its connection with whatsapp cloud api api account for this i'm going to take you to my meta for developers page and here it is now when you go to my apps you have all these apps already created basically these are the applications that i have created you can create your own app by clicking on this green tab now i wish to go to this first app that i have created and once i am here on the right hand side sorry on the left hand side you can see whatsapp let's click on this and click on getting started as soon as you do that here you can see that we have received the information that we were looking for there is a token phone number id and business account id but here you have to remember that this is just a temporary access token which means if you create a workflow using this token it will stop working as it will expire in 23 hours to eradicate the situation you have to first create a permanent access token a dedicated video has been given in the video description so that you can follow the steps and create the permanent access token easily now since this is just a test demo i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this token over here then we have the phone number id let's copy this go back and paste it over here and finally we have the whatsapp business account id i'm going to copy this go back and paste this here let's click on save to set up the connection here you can see that whatsapp cloud api and public connect they are not connected totally now we need a template name so every time there is a new lead i wish to send my lead a thank you message thank you for signing up and that you know we'll be sharing the details with you soon etc so every time writing a message is troublesome so we create a pre-written message now to understand this template name i'm going to take you again to my metaphor developers page here step two says that to create your own message template click here let's click here once done here you can see that these are the message templates that i have already created and you can create your own message template through this tab now i'm going to find a template that i've already created new lead sign up so here you can see that i haven't chosen a header if you wish to choose a header like a video url or a pdf file or an image you can always do that now the body part 
again here you can see high and then there is a number within double curly braces all the numbers within double curly braces here represent a variable for example name mobile number email address that can keep on changing with every lead received so when you write a number within double curly braces it means that the value can be changed every time so it is hi dash thanks for signing up welcome to and then you can have the name of the company we are so lucky to have you as a precious user you will be amongst the first to hear about your new arrivals big events and special offers if you need any support don't hesitate to reach out with questions we would love to hear from you regards so basically this is the message and it will look something like this on your whatsapp going back to pably connect here i'm going to look for new lead sign up once done so the language code is us then there is a selected template id you do not have to make any change there and here we have the recipient's mobile number basically the mobile number of the lead so we are going to map the data here mapping basically means that you already have received this information in the previous step and you are just taking it out from there so clicking on this go to salesforce and here you can see if i scroll down this is the mobile number let's click on this once done here you can also see that we have to write the mobile number with the country code but without the plus sign so i'm going to quickly write here the number also this is just a demo number so when i will finally try to get the api response i'm going to change this number now the next is name so here again if i go this is the name and then the name of the company so here the name of the company is if i go down we will find the owner id so or we can just simply now this information the name of the company is not stat uh, dynamic it is static so i'm simply going to write public connect and then once done let's click on save and send test request so now here you can see that it is saying that parameter value is not valid why because i have to give a, a proper mobile number so now i'm going to change this i'm going to pause this video so that i can provide a genuine mobile number and then we'll come back after receiving the response so here you can see that we have received the whatsapp message once i have changed the number which means that these two applications are now connected now we also need to check this in real time that if every time there is a lead received through salesforce are we getting a message on whatsapp so going back to salesforce here i'm going to create another lead so let's go to leads and now i'm going to click on new and let's say this time the first name is testing lead and the last name is dummy and now the name of the company is again public connect and uh, the title if it is required you can give lead source let's say it is purchase list then we have a campaign industry this time is engineering annual revenue is let's say five crores then we have the favorite game if you wish to give this information you can then we have the mobile number so and the email address so the, let's say the email address is testing lead at publitudes.com and now if i go down let's say the lead status is not converted closed or let it be working and contacted number of employees is let's say um 35 or 30. rating here is it's a warm lead right so once done i'm going to click on save and as soon as okay so this is saying that one possible duplicate record found so now i'm going to change the name here so let's say the name is a uh, new name and here the last name is old name okay this information remains the same i'm going to change the email address it's new name at publitudes.com now let's click on save again and here you can see that uh, new name old name lead has been created 
and as soon as we have created this lead what should happen i should receive a message on my whatsapp but if we go back to public connect so here you can see that uh, this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes which means that the trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes this workflow will run again and again after 10 minutes to check for new data so now we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we will receive the data uh, here a message on our whatsapp So finally, here you can see that we have the screenshot of the message that we have just received, which basically means that this integration process is a complete success. Now let's go to public connect here and understand the entire process. So this is just a two step integration process where the trigger application is Salesforce and the trigger event is new lead. Action application is WhatsApp cloud API and action event is send template message. So I hope this is very much clear to you. In case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow given in the description box and also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from that, if you have any other doubt or question or suggestion for us, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.